What's going on everybody? This is Marcus. Henry. Rob. From Shattered Sun and you're watching Cooking at 65 miles an hour. Uh, we're the opening band for Soil Work and uh, Soul Fly on the We Sold Our Souls to Metal Tour. So we have opening band money. So, yeah, we're, we're, we're a little broke so you know in order to feed our whole crew and our and our team which is 10 people. Just do something simple, you know what I mean? Little mini burgers, you know, on Hawaiian rolls and uh, Rob's famous guacamole here. We're gonna drink some beers, man, have a good time. Glad you guys stopped by to hang with us. Feeling the avocados. It's very hard to find the ingredients to do this. Right now we normally be doing like fajitas. We went to the store earlier and it was like $15 for a cut of steak that big. So we were like, nah, we'll just, uh, we'll do some burgers and some guacamole and have a good time. I want to need some country music out here. Yeah. Six avocados. Usually, like like whenever I make you know yeah. the guac, it usually goes by pretty quick. So this time we're using it as a condiment as well as a dip. A little decent amount of avocado for everyone to get a little, a little scoop of it. Right now we're making our meat mixture, which is basically ground pork, ground 80/20 chuck, a little bit of uh, cilantro, a little bit of onion, a little bit of jalapeno, and so far the special stuff. You gonna see what we're doing? Three pounds of the ground beef. Uh, a pound of ground pork. It's a little fattier and everything. Make it a little more tender, a little juicy. One well, thing that sucks about freaking mixing is your hands get all cold, man. <laughs> sea salt. Sea sauce to add a little flavor. You don't, you don't know what it tastes like just yet. Where are the jalapenos? <laughs> like Sam Adams Oktoberfest. <laughs> Very hard to find, but we've got it. What up? A little bit of jalapenos in there for some spice. Makes everything nice. The multi-use thing, man. We put a Thai dressing on everything. No matter what kind of meat it is, I always put Italian dressing on it, man. Give me a little splash of beer right there. There you go. <laughs> that makes a lot of mess. Since I don't have a masher, I went and got some softer avocados. It would be so hard to mash up or anything like that. Gotta extract the innards of the avocado, get it ready for the mixture. Cilantro, you heard it right. Cilantro goes in fucking everything. Put it in your fucking cereal. I Eggs. promise you, it'll be, it'll be worth it. Pancakes. It'll be worth it. Garnish your cheesecakes with it. Right. Yeah. So you cut about a third or maybe a quarter off this so you can put in the hamburger meat. I'm gonna do the whole thing. So last time we were on tour with the Testament Exodus, Chuck kept on giving him shit all the time because it didn't have a, it didn't have that kick. We make sure every time now it's got that kick. I don't know if anyone did that, the kick, he still gave me shit. <laughs> you ever try doing it with a potato? Yeah, that's for not me. <laughs> and you fucking set it. Right, forget that motherfucker. Don't forget nah, it. Don't, don't forget it. Yeah, don't forget it. Uh, Hawaiian buns, they're sweeter, they're softer, and we figured we wheezed out like on everything else financial wise. Might as well get the, the expensive buns. So we got a little bit of class. <laughs> the blood coming up on the top, that's when you know to flip them. Good tip for you guys, first time grillers out there. I usually eyeball it. Probably gonna cut up some, say, uh, right, bro. I'm gonna watch right there, because I'm gonna make two different kind of dips. I'm gonna make, of course, the guac, mango, oh, yeah. pico de gallo. Go ahead and drop that in there. Oh, yeah. Not too burned, it's nice and juicy. It's like caramelized on top. You know, this is actually the fastest it's taken us to barbecue something. <laughs> Ever, yeah. Usually it takes us fucking hours to do something. We all the ground. Hey, where's the cheese, too? Right here. This one right now it's uh, caked with the uh, jalapeno and onion. I kind of just took a little grab out of it. Usually I do about two of these little trees of cilantro. What I use, I probably use about a quarter of the whole thing. Usually I'm having like a bigger bowl to work with today. I'm, uh, I had a scrounge around the venue, find this little rubber made right here. Got a full cup. So where are you from? Uh, so I'm slowly start getting that color into it. <laughs> oh, there you go. Something that like my grandfather and like my, my great grandfather have been doing for like ever. It's just kind of like a Texas thing, South Texas. You just get like a half of, of an onion, and right when the grill's super hot, you just it sanitizes it and it flavors it. Yeah. 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 This time I'm going to use the whole tomato in it. It's right here. The cool thing about this is not only you know, it will give the guac more texture, but it gives a little bit more color and makes it look more tested. I still get cut. So usually I, get, I already get three uh, cut tomatoes. 
because I'm lazy like that. Tomatoes just seem way harder to cut than anything else because they're all slimy and they have their seeds and all that stuff going on. So on this right here is what I always use, whipped cream cheese. Gives a little bit more texture. I used to watch a lot of Rachel Ray and she used to use yogurt, so I was like, fuck that, I'm using cream cheese. Uh, you actually go about half the you have the big chunks of jalapeno, but this will do. It'll kind of cool it down a little bit, so it's music don't work out for us. Yeah, you know, we we got a we got a feature in the cooking industry. Yeah, we have ideas. We talk, talk about like different menu items that we tried to make before. This is worth all the twenty dollars on this grill. I'm only doing it with my hair down because you guys are here, but normally. This is a big fucking no-no. You fucking burn all your hair off. See, now the, the cream cheese is made look way more creamier. Oh, that's some of that kill there, too. Did you put hot bands in it already? Yep. These are some of the finished products already. We're just waiting for the guac to top them off, but it's pretty simple, man. Hawaiian roll, Swiss cheese, not an overdone burger. Put some guac on it. Chips, great fucking time, man. Right now we're rolling the line, get all the juice out of it. Time to get all seasoned out. No, no, Every time no. I go by eye, I'm when it comes down to seasoning. I'm more of a, a rogue when it comes down to cooking. I'm more of a rogue. <laughs> <laughs> we don't like to stick to plans, we just like to cook. We're go getters. We don't get got, you go get some lemon pepper. Add a little bit extra z uh, zest to it. We've got our garlic uh, powder. Give that little garlic yeah. to it. Our seasoned salt. Uh, ground black pepper. And then we right. go to town right now. The seasoned salt, garlic. Pepper. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Get a little bit more zest to it. Montreal steak seasoning, 25% less sodium. In case you guys haven't got the hint yet, it's just dump everything in the sink. Yeah, like just throw everything in there. It tastes good. Sea salt in the grinder. There you go. Have a burger. Boom, there you go. It's not pretty, but it does the fucking trick. There you go. Who wants the first plate? Oh, somebody's gotta want the first plate. There you go. <laughs> let's let's see Bjorn's approval. If it's good or not. <laughs> Seriously, that's absolutely fantastic. I'm not a fan of guacamole, but that that Stop. makes me want to, you know, <laughs> start eating more of a guacamole. So you had to make some grilled onions on the real, real. Simple, dude. Salt to get rid of the moisture. A little bit of oil. To make them saute, yeah. which is basically salad dressing. You basically just wrap these motherfuckers up in a tight little ball. Right on the pit. What's up, everybody? Shattered Sun here. From sun up to sundown, you're barbecuing with me, Rob, Joseph, and Henry. Thank you guys for hanging out, man, and taking a little bit of time to see what we're doing here on the We Sold Our Souls to Metal Tour 2015. Yeah. See you soon.